somebody says karate, they're like, oh, that's kind of weird, but they really don't understand like how cool it really is. It's not like the Karate Kid, Cobra Kai days, you know, where people are mean and the sensei is yelling at their students. There's actually a whole subculture of martial arts that, you know, is really unique. You have these great kids who can do amazing martial arts feats, they're amazing athletes, and they're cool kids. And so, you know, Hyper wants to uh, really highlight that lifestyle of martial arts. I'm excited to be a Hyper Pro because it's never been done before. The team that we have is, you know, all the top martial artists on the circuit that we compete in. There's millions and millions of martial arts practitioners around the world. And Hyper's main goal is to really just help them to become better martial artists. Hyper is a martial arts action lifestyle brand and our goals really are to profile these amazing martial arts athletes and give them the recognition that they deserve. But earning recognition on a national or international level doesn't come easy. The rise in popularity of action lifestyle sports like skateboarding and surfing can be documented back to a group of cutting edge top athletes that single handedly made these sports cool. They were doing tricks and things with surf and skateboards never thought possible before, capturing the imagination of a generation of young kids. Now it's Hyper's turn to try and do the same thing for martial arts. Martial artists in our sport have been looking for something like this. You know, an opportunity to display their talents, themselves, um, anything that will take our sport that's kind of sheltered, not really uh, marketed very well, and just take it to another level and show people what is really out there. Hyper has scoured the martial arts circuit for the top talent in the country, but the team they have assembled is not just good. They are among the most elite athletes in the martial arts world today. They have proven themselves over and over again on the biggest stages, some of them earning their black belts as early as six years old, and going on to win national and even world championships. And now, armed with the top talent out there, Hyper's mission is to show the world what martial arts is all about and just how far the sport has come. The goal was to take these 11 world champions, bring them into a cool city, get together, make some training videos, do this amazing photo shoot, do some fun kicks and tricks around the city, and just have a fun weekend. For the first time, the Hyper team has come together in one place to highlight their talents outside of the competition circuit. And the cool thing about being a part of Hyper, you know, it's a great group of martial artists and I've known all of them almost my whole entire life. Each team member has their own uniquely intriguing story to tell, each with different backgrounds and their own individual challenges to overcome. But they all have one common goal that led them here, to be the best of the best. <laughs> My name is Micah Carnes and I live in Naperville, Illinois, Chicago. All I really do is martial arts. I seriously have like no other hobby. It's just martial arts and training. Well, I'm Mark Canonizato and I'm from Orlando, Florida. I started martial arts when I was five years old. You know, I like the challenge. I don't like anything that's too easy. I'm Caitlin Deschel. You know, a lot of the guys, they could all pull, you know, those crazy tricks and combinations. I'm like, come on, I can do that. That's what I try to work on, to, you know, be first to do it. I'm Mackenzie Emery. I live near Roseville, California. I could always, like, put myself in that zone, like, I could get, like, intense. Ah! Yeah! 
I'm Matt Emick. I'm from Long Island, New York. You know, training two, three times a week isn't enough. I gotta train every day. I gotta really put in the hours. You know, when I train, it's serious. You know, I don't stop. My name is Hans Wickling, born and raised in San Jose. My name is Dina Heuer, and I live in Davenport, Iowa. I'm Austin Crane. I live in Alpharetta, Georgia. My name is Tyler Weaver, and I live in Denver, Colorado, in Highland Ranch. My name is Sammy Sadek. I'm from Oregon, Wisconsin. I'm Cole Eckert. It's like, okay, bring it, let's go. Each one of these kids has separated themselves from the millions of other martial arts practitioners around the world, combining solid basics with unprecedented talent and their own flair. In their short lifetimes, they have packed it in with years of dedication and hard work, landing them on this team and here for this weekend. On paper, the plan was simple. Training videos, photo shoots, and coming together to work on their techniques. But the first mission is to get the team ready and focused for an impromptu show for the public at a famous tourist destination in the center of Huntington Beach, 40 miles south of Los Angeles. None of them had ever been to Huntington Beach before, so they were just excited. And you know, some of them were a little bit nervous. But on the way to the location, most of the kids really have only one thing on their mind, tricking. Whether talking about it, trading secrets, or debating which ones they want to pull off. I've got to say my best trick and my favorite trick is a butterfly twist. Yeah. I almost got my double B twist down the other day, double actually. Double B twist? Yeah. Gainer, round off flash. I hit him with a round off. Uh-huh. You know you're Arabian? Yeah. But then you ax your leg and you full twist out of it. Oh, damn. As they approach their destination for their first public tricking session, there is no sign of nervous anticipation. For Hans, Austin, and a few of the others, the exhibition can't start soon enough. As we're walking through the streets, they stop and they start tricking and this crowd comes around and they're watching them doing these really cool kicks and combinations and people are asking, what, you know, what are they doing? What is this? This is amazing. It's like stuff they've seen on video games, right? You know, being part of Hyper is, is fun because nothing's better than being filmed, doing the craziness. It's a lot of fun just being out there in public, just throwing stuff nobody else would. But with a tight schedule ahead and limited time at their next shooting locations, the team now needs to get down to business. now heading to a set of pre-selected shooting locations and landmarks in the Los Angeles area. The mission is to record a series of detailed training videos, teaching core martial arts kicks and weapon maneuvers. Hey guys, I'm Caitlin Deschel, and these are my hyper kicks. Hi, my name is Dina Heuer, and this is my hyper competition bow form. Hey, my name is Austin Cray, and these are my hyper kicks. As soon as they each arrive at their destination, the instruction begins. Today's youth has taken it to a whole nother level. They're adding two spins, three spins, they're flipping upside down, combining gymnastics and martial arts techniques together, which is really cool, but where do you learn how to do these techniques? I was actually really ready to kind of move on past martial arts once I achieved black belt. And I saw some people doing martial arts like I do now, and it just reignited the flame of interest, you know? I just really got right back into it, and I was like, wow, so there is somewhere else I can take this. Hey, what's up? I'm Mark Reisano, and these are my Hyper Kicks. This is what Hyper is about, teaching others, giving back to the martial arts community, and doing their part to make everyone around them better. 
Okay, now the key word is jump. So don't just hop, jump. Hyper has created these training videos, as well as an online pro training center to give the world access to these learning tools. You know, the, the videos break it down. They freeze frame them. They show arrows. They explain them. You know, it's smart training, training the correct way, knowing what to do, what not to do. You know, and that took some years, and that's why I really, I enjoy teaching and helping out the youth. Whether they're kids or adults, I want to show them that there's a new aspect of it to where you can learn how to flip, you can learn how to be an exhibitionist, you can learn from being an open martial artist. Now, the main thing with that one, have enough torque. In true hyper form, the team takes their instruction to a whole other level. A few of the kicks and combos they've perfected have never been done before, at least not in consecutive combinations, and not at this level of difficulty. One of the aspects to the training curriculum is what's called the hyper pro kicks and the hyper pro combinations. And basically, these are the highest level kicks that are pretty much known. And then you get these high level pro kicks down, you put them in combinations, and a lot of these kicks end up going into the competitions because it's all about who can do the hardest level kicks in their routine. Over the course of nearly two days, the team packs in multiple locations and hours of high-end instruction. But after a little R&R, &R, the team is ready to hit the streets again. All right. Literally. Hurry! They're cutting through the streets. I mean, they're literally going across sidewalks. They're going you know, jumping off buildings, they said, look guys, we're just gonna go straight through guerrilla style, have some fun, do your best kicks. At the end of the weekend in sight, the team starts to pull out their best stuff. Inevitably, a little of their competitive side starts to shine through. So, you know, one kid throws this kick and he's like, I see ya, I see ya. Next person throws their combination and really that's, that's what, you know, all these kicks came from. It came from, you know, training for competitions or training in the school and like you add one spin, so I'm gonna add another spin, but then I'm gonna add another kick. You know, they're all, always trying to one-up each other, which is cool. These guys, you know, they're my friends, don't get me wrong. Uh, but you know, I just as if you ask them, we're not friends right there. We're kind of enemies, but once everything's said and done, you know, we're back to being friends and everything. Uh, but I respect them a lot because they just, you know, they got the same mindset as me. Obviously, if they weren't uh, in the same mindset, they wouldn't be pushing me as hard. Being around all these awesome martial artists, I mean, being all together in one place and shooting, you know, in different locations, filming, photo shoots, you know, it's just a really fun experience. Hyper really encompasses like all martial arts. So it, it's kind of interesting because you have the traditional side, you have the innovative extreme martial arts side, and you have like this tricky side, right? So at the end of the day, we wanted to give them a break and kind of just let them freestyle. And this was really fun. We got out on the beach, the sun setting, and they just start throwing some combinations and having fun and tricking and just having a good time. The cool thing about Hyper Team is being able to reach people around the world and teaching them stuff that people never really knew before. Like in the street, you throw, you throw a cool trick or a throw a cool punch combo, but like, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's cool to be a part of it. It's awesome that like so many other people could have gotten picked, and then I was one of them.
I like the fact that people can have interest from what we do. You know, I think we're just as good as those BMXers, the skateboarders, uh, all those action sport athletes. I think we're just as good with, as them, and I feel like we should be at a level to where we, uh, you know, we're on TV like that. Uh, being successful definitely takes dedication. You know, if you're not willing to put the hours and you know all the sweat and the tears behind it, then you know you'll never get far in anything. You know, you try to do. You know, one of the greatest things about the martial arts and going into competition is it really prepares you for everything in life. If you think about it, you know, you're gaining this confidence to stand in front of people and to perform. You're, you're taking your physical ability to a whole nother level. So whether you make it to becoming a world champion or not, you're always going to be able to use these skills in everything that you do. Having the confidence to stand in front of people to really help you in everyday life.